Angelica Castillo, previously known for 22 years as Baby Hope, was a Mexican-American four-year-old girl from New York City who was murdered in 1991. Her body was not identified until 2013. The case received national attention due to the young age of the victim and the manner of her death. After her identification, Castillo's paternal cousin, Conrado Juarez, 30 years old at the time of her death, confessed to murdering the girl. Juarez died in custody in November 2018, after changing his plea to not guilty, claiming the confession was coerced. Death Castillo's abusive father, Gennaro Ramirez, had taken two of his three young children and disappeared. Her mother, Margarita Castillo, figured that he had taken Angelica and her sister in return to his native Mexico. In reality, he left Angelica in New York, taking her to stay with the children's adult female cousin, Balvina Juarez Ramirez, who lived in the house in Astoria, Queens. Years later, Balvina's brother and Angelica's male cousin Conrado Juarez admitted to torturing, raping and sodomizing the child before smothering her. Juarez, who was 30 years old at the time of the murder, had bound Angelica to a table in his sister's apartment and deprived her of water on multiple occasions. Juarez claimed he originally did not intend to kill her, but then suffocated her with a pillow after she cried out during her rape. Juarez immediately informed Juarez Ramirez that their cousin was dead, and his sister insisted they dispose of the body. Angelica's body was placed in a cooler and the siblings took a car service to Manhattan to dump the cooler. Angelica's mother, Margarita, believing Castillo to be in Mexico with her father, and also unable to communicate in English, never reported her missing. Margarita did claim that she and her family had searched for her daughter but were unable to locate her, for which she became the subject of much criticism and anger when Angelica was identified in 2013. Other reports reveal that her family also neglected to report her missing because some of the family members, including Margarita, were apparently undocumented immigrants. They feared that if it was discovered that some were in the country without documentation during the course of an investigation, they would be deported. Discovery Angelica's decomposing body was discovered on July 23, 1991, inside a navy blue cooler along the Henry Hudson Parkway in Manhattan, New York. The body was so decomposed that identification was at first impossible, as her face was not recognizable. She soon came to be known as Baby Hope. She was naked and had been bound with both rope and a Venetian blind cord. She was placed in a fetal position with her hands pressed together. The body was then wrapped in a garbage bag and placed inside the cooler, which was filled with unopened soda cans and water, which was presumably ice at one time. Examiners concluded that Baby Hope was possibly Hispanic, had dark, wavy hair and a ponytail, was malnourished, weighing only 28 pounds, 13 kilograms, was a victim of sexual abuse, and had died on or about July 18th. She was initially estimated to have been between 3 and 5 years old. After examination was completed and the case remained unsolved, police provided the money in 1993 to have the victim buried after a public funeral was held. A casket was donated in which to bury the little girl and her headstone was marked as Baby Hope. One of the officers who was investigating the case gave a eulogy. 200 people attended. Investigation after the remains were originally discovered, a witness told authorities that she had seen a Hispanic man and woman carrying a cooler in the location where the body was found. Prior to the discovery, around the time the girl was estimated to have been murdered. A few months later, in the autumn of 1991, some suggestive images of a nude child were located in New Jersey, which some believed might have been Baby Hope, as the girl in the photographs matched the victim's description. Baby Hope's body was exhumed in 2006 and 2011 to obtain DNA information. Authorities reopened the case in 2013 and requested information from the public.
The tip that broke the case came from an anonymous woman who told authorities that she had overheard a conversation two years prior between a mother and another person regarding the disappearance of her daughter. This information led investigators to Margarita Castillo, and DNA comparisons confirmed that she was the mother of Baby Hope, who could now be identified as Angelica Castillo. Identification and Arrest of Conrado Juarez Once investigators had identified Angelica and her family, further effort led them to the names of her paternal cousins, 52-year-old Conrado Juarez and his already deceased sister, Balvina Juarez Ramirez. Juarez was questioned by detectives after being located working as a dishwasher in a restaurant in Manhattan. The subsequent interrogation led to his arrest for the crime. He was subsequently charged with felony murder. Police stated that they also suspect that Angelica may not have been Juarez's only victim. When first interviewed by reporters, Margarita Castillo refused to show her face but spoke through a closed door. She gave her explanation of why Angelica was not reported missing and also described her devastation when she learned of the fate of Angelica and her anger toward Juarez. She was subjected to criticism throughout the community for not reporting anything about Angelica's disappearance. Some members and friends of Angelica's family had never known she had even existed. Angelica's sister, Lauren Cedar Ramirez, spoke to reporters about the case. When she was 11 she learned about Angelica's existence and about her abduction by their father years earlier. Ramirez stated that she did not become familiar with Baby Hope until the case was reopened and publicized in 2013. When she saw the artist's recreations in the media, she saw a resemblance between the victim and herself and wondered if the still unidentified Baby Hope might be the missing sister she had heard about. When Angelica was first identified, her father, Gennaro Ramirez, was believed to be involved in her death until Juarez confessed. To date Gennaro Ramirez has never been located, but is believed to reside in Puebla, Mexico and may still be unaware of what happened to his daughter after he gave her to Juarez. Juarez later claimed his confession was coerced and told a different account of Castillo's death, claiming his sister asked for assistance after the girl died from falling down the stairs. He later entered a not guilty plea when charged with second degree murder. Juarez died in police custody on November 19, 2018, from pancreatic cancer. See also List of Solved Missing Persons Cases List of Unsolved Murders Murder of Atzel Olmedo Unreported Missing References